Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm using Makeup Geek to do this copper and green eye. Hmm, a little different. So if you want to see how I use the different Makeup Geek products to get this eye look, um, please stay tuned. I'm going to start with an NYX green glitter. I almost said clean gritter. Okay, that one's not being exactly nice. So we're going to mix it up and put some Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil. This one is in Ocean. We're going to do that on the inner waterline. And that one went on way easy. Let's have a moment of silence while I do my eyebrows. Okay, so I started out with green as a base below my eyes, which normally I do that last. Um, but I wanted to try something different today. Okay, I'm going to start out with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie. And we're going to darken up the crease with this color here called Goddess. Next we're going to take some Steampunk. This is also Makeup Geek. I'm just going to take a nice little fat crease brush and I'm going to blend. And maybe I'll take a flat, fluffier brush. Um, I put too much steampunk on, but you gotta love the name. Okay, that shadow is way pigmented. We are going to pick back up some peach smoothie. And I'm going to use um, Makeup Geeks from their fall collection, this one called Legend. That gives it a nice copper glow. I use some um, green eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeliner on the bottom, and so I'm going to go ahead and take the Epic from the Makeup Geek Fall Palette and go ahead and go right over the top of the green I have. And this is to make sure I have an Epic eye. Using this diamond powder from Winky Lux in light, I'm going to just sweep that under the brow bone. Using the Sephora Colorful Wink It Waterproof Felt Liner in black, we're going to line the, la the eyes. Now that I got my eyes lined with the Wink It, I'm actually going to take um, this blackish color here from the Kat Von D Serpentina palette. I'm going to go right over the top of the eyeliner with an angled brush. Okay. 
And that color has bits of flecks of gold in it, which I think looks nice next to the copper. And by adding an eyeshadow on top, I just soften that line a little bit so it's not as harsh. My favorite waterproof. Lash Sensational for the lower lashes. Alright, we're going to go in with the Superhero It for some lashes. Now we're going to contour the face and finish this up. Okay, we're going to use the Mana Kadar Beauty, the bronzer and highlighter. I'm going to use the Too Faced, and this was in Peach Beach. We're going to use my fake Huda Beauty Lip Contour and Trend Setter. And we're going to use Mariah Carey's Bit of Bubbly from MAC, which I don't care for Mariah Carey, but ooh, when, you, when I saw how pretty this packaging was, um, I had to have it. Okay, so that didn't quite work with the lip I wanted. Um, I wanted something a little bit darker. Hmm. So we are going to switch MAC lipsticks and we're going to go with Giggle Fest over the top. That looks better. So this concludes this bronze, green, peachy kind of face. Um, I'm going to semi fix my hair. And then I'll do my my exit. Be right back. Oops, I forgot the setting spray. Oh my gosh, and I forgot a highlighter. Holy crud. I'll tell you what, being sick is not fun. I have been a hot mess since I've been sick. And yesterday when I did my face, I couldn't find my, my Makeup Geek contours, and they're right in front of me. Getting sick doesn't pay. I think I'm going to go with this highlighter for Makeup Geek, and I think it's called Sun... Midnight Sun, maybe? The back of them... Eh. I can't read them. Eh. So we're going to take a little Midnight Sun, or we're going to assume that that's called Midnight Sun. Oh yay, this is what the makeup was missing. I did that yesterday too. I forgot my setting spray, I forgot um, my highlighter, and I, when I went into the restroom, I'm not going deep there, um, came out and I was like, why is my makeup looking not right. So I guess it's because I forgot the setting spray and 
the highlighter. So, okay. So now I'm finally finished. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this green and bronze inspired eye. It was fun to put together. Of course, my face is mostly makeup geek today and a touch of MAC on the lips. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day.